attention. My videos are not meant to humiliate nor send attacks at the people included in my videos. Please do not go over to the channels or people's social medias featured in these videos and send hate. These videos are purely satire and should not be taken seriously. If you're someone who's featured in the video and you would not like this to be out there, please contact me via email, Twitter, or Discord, which are all linked down below in the description, and I will take it down for you. Thank you. Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Keed. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be watching the most amazing, incredible PSA on internet safety in the whole entire world. Real quick, I did just want to mention that I have a Discord server, an Instagram, and a Twitter, all linked down below in the description. Please go check those out. And yeah guys, without further ado, let's get kidnapped. Whoever is typing on this computer is like really making me mad. Like, why are they typing so aggravatingly slow? It's like when my grandpa is at the computer typing on his keyboard with his two pointer fingers and it like takes him five minutes to find each letter. Like, dang, take some elementary school typing classes or something, man. Learning to use a keyboard really isn't that hard. Dang, this chick got some bad tastes and like, well, um, everything. This girl really chose Mean Girls as one of her top three movies. Out of all the movies this girl has seen, she chose Mean Girls as one of her favorite movies ever. And Avril Lavigne? Come on. That one song, though, is kind of a low-key bop, though. I'm not gonna lie. Why do you have to go and make things so complicated? And you fall, and you crawl, and you break, and you take what you get, and you turn it into My apologies on that one, boys Come on now, who's actually dumb enough to put your address and phone number on your Facebook page, your public Facebook page? And yeah, guys, just let me make this a quick disclaimer, like, real quick, guys, all right? Do not put your address on the internet, like, just don't. That's so dumb. Also, like, don't share any of your public info with anyone. Like, even if you're friends with them, that's not worth any risk. Don't tell them your address. Don't tell them your phone number. Don't tell them, like, what state you live in. Don't tell them your real name. Really, though, be careful with that because people on the internet can really, like, mess your life up, you know? Uh, but yeah, that's enough of those warnings. Uh, so anyway, I don't know what's gonna happen in this video, but, like, whatever it is, she has it coming for her, man. Like, you really went and put your address on a public Facebook? What a silly goose, man. What kind of phone is that? This chick got a whole looking grandma phone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. When was, when was this video made? 2011. So I'm like 99% sure iPhones were existed in 2011, right? Yeah, yeah. See, iPhones have been out since 2007. Like, this chick really got a beat phone. Uh, to be honest, though, I kind of do feel bad for her, though. Like, I remember my first phone was, like, one of those little tiny track phones. And you had to, like, purchase talking minutes to use the phone. And if you wanted a text, you had to, like, click the numbers, like, a certain amount of times to get the letter. Like, there was only nine buttons on that thing and like you had the whole alphabet on there somehow and i don't know man just like life sucked back then like having a track phone all my friends had iphones like i was honestly jealous of everybody but i mean now probably isn't much better because like i'm rocking some metro pcs android phones so like i don't know about that one but it's still better than like those track phone days you know hello hello is this alice Yes. Who's this? Hello? Hello? What an awkward phone call. I get that it's like some creep from the internet going on her Facebook page, calling her or whatever, but like, can't he like talk a little more? Like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like what would happen in like a real life situation at all. Hello? 
She really answered a call from an unknown number immediately after getting a super creepy phone call. Dang, this chick is stupid. Everyone and their mommy knows not to answer unknown callers. Most of the time, whenever you have an unknown caller, it's just like some guy from Microsoft going, Thank you for calling Microsoft Medical Support. My name is Mike. How can I help you? And then, like, you just hang up. And, like, that's it. Like, why is she even giving this unknown caller a chance to speak to her? She should know by now that you don't answer those phone calls. Hello? This man really called some random number from a Facebook page and just sat there and breathed into his phone. Wow, so edgy, so scary. What a loser. <laughs> Come on, man. Really don't have anything better to be doing. Hello? Hello, Alice. Who is this? A friend. What? I said I'm a friend of yours. Is this some kind of a joke? I'm hanging up. Don't hang up on me. That's what you had to do from the get-go. Like, listen, you hang up on the man who is an unknown caller. And then, if you get another call from him, guess what? Guess what you do? You don't answer another freaking call from an unknown caller. For God's sake, does this chick learn? Does she, like, realize what happened in the past at all? Or is she just, like, oblivious to the fact that, like, every single time she answers this phone, it's gonna be the same dude? She really answered again? Come on, man. This is getting ridiculous. Why did you hang up on me? Who is this? I told you. I'm a friend. I don't know you. I'll prove it to you. Prove what? That I'm your friend. I know things that only a friend would know. <laughs> Alice, are you still there? Yes. Your favorite movie is Mean Girls. Your favorite singer is Avril Lavigne. Um, yeah, that's that's not how you prove to someone you're their friend. I'm pretty sure if she was your friend, she'd like know your voice, man. And uh, maybe if she didn't recognize your voice, then well, um, may maybe say your name. Also, if we go back to that Facebook statement, in the beginning, she literally updated like everything today. Like all of her interests changed like that day that all this stuff happened. So wouldn't she be able to like make the realization, oh, he's listing stuff that I just put on my Facebook today. And then she could proceed to go take that stuff down and edit her Facebook page so this man can't get to her house. Odds are this guy like just called the phone number and if you delete the address there's a chance that like, that can kind of fix everything you know? L like come on I know you ain't that dumb. Stop calling me. Really? Freaking really? After all of that, you're still gonna answer the phone? Like, just block the dude. I, I just don't understand why you're still answering. This is, like, literally so stupid. This whole video is so stupid. Oh my god. I told you to stop calling me. I also saw on your profile that you live at 27 Ashford Road. The look of total shock after realizing you might just be the dumbest person in existence to use the internet. Like, come on. There's no way you can be surprised about that. Like, you put your information there. Like, come on. Stop looking like you're all shocked and stuff that this man came to your house. Like, you put it there. Like, come on. Stop playing dummy dum dum. Hey, sweetie. Mom, when are you and dad getting home? Uh, about 30 minutes. Why? Matter. Some guy keeps calling me. He keeps on saying all these things he knows about me. Alice, I'm sure it's just a joke or something. Wow, thanks, Mom. V very helpful. Freaking moms, man. Always thinking everything a joke or an exaggeration. Like, no, I I'm actually about to get kidnapped, Mom. Like, help. Well, I'll be home soon. Can you hang on, Alice? Yeah, I'll be right Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>
this <laughs> this is the worst acting i've ever seen this is the worst acting i've ever seen like i said earlier though she she was dumb she was the dumb one who put all this stuff on public she kept on answering this man's phone call she put this stuff on a public facebook page she had this coming from the beginning also she kept answering the phone even though it was unknown and like the one time she answered it was like that creepy dude so like yeah I hope you guys all know not to answer random phone calls now. And if you're using Facebook, you're actual scum. But also, don't be sharing your public information. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. You guys are the real Gs. Don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Yeah, guys, till tomorrow. Peace out.